Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of different positions that you can have your arms in and a whole bunch of different modes in which you can use your arms. So feel free to follow along and even if you don't wanna follow along, you can just watch and you'll kind of like observe this and you can do it later in your life. So I'll just move back to where you can see every position. Okay, so let's go, right? Okay, so first of all, there's, you know, all the way out there. You know, usually, usually we don't really reach all the way out. We're just like, okay, here, fine. But you can really go just that bit further than you normally do. And that goes for everywhere, all around your body. You can, you can just reach a bit further than you normally do in all directions with your arms. And that might feel like a bit of a strain. And that might feel like there's a bit of tension you know, because of, of course, like your whole myofascial web that's like surrounding your body, you're kind of saying, come all the way over here, all the way over. And it's like, Ugh. but you can go just a bit further. And if you spend more time there, you'll get more coordination there and strength and mobility and you'll have a bigger range of motion all around your body. So you, know, you can go all the way over to the side, all the way all the way up. That would involve raising your trapezius up as high as, as you can go, your shoulder blades, you know, all the, all the way down and slide your fingertips all the way down your, your leg. You'll notice that your, your chest and your uh, latissimus dorsi activates a bit better. You can go all the way behind you. You'll notice that your triceps activate, activate pretty nicely. Your deltoids activate quite nicely. You can even come in here. That'll like squeeze your back together. Okay. Um, all the way at the front. You know, that's going to activate like your uh, serratus anterior that kind of like brings your shoulder blade around. And it's also going to activate your, your chest a bit to squeeze, squeeze in like that. Okay. All right, so it's all these different, you know, you need to explore the how far your arms can actually reach away from your body. That's like kind of like a number one thing. Okay, then after that, um, you know, we, we can say, let, let's explore like the hands, okay? So, you know, the hands can go rotate. We can come in closer for this one. These can rotate and you really want to practice kind of like rotating them more than you do, giving them a bit more of a squeeze, taking them just further into, into a range of motion that you just don't normally do. Um, and you want to go both directions, right? Around this way, hold the fingertips and around that way, both with the elbows bent and with the elbows straight. Okay, so look how much we've just, like, it's multiplicative, right? So now we can have, you know, close to your body, twisting. You can have, now you can have twisting over here. See, well, that's what we're doing. We're like, okay, so now you can twist all the way over here in both directions. Now we can have all the way up and we can twist in all these directions, right? So we can stack these all together to make you know, all these like different articulations, like combined articulations. You can also have your elbows pointing all the way out there because remember we just talked about, okay, you can have, your el you can have this rotation while your elbows are bent or not. So you can just have your elbows pointed out as far as they can go with your arms with your, you know, with not this happening, right? And then you can do this, can't you? Okay, isn't that, isn't that funny? Um, just before I mention it, you know, we're saying, okay, you can go far away, but you can also go across your body, right? We don't do this much. We definitely don't do like this much. Just reach, reach over and pick something up from over there with this hand. All right, just feel how good that activates your, your chest if you really try and reach down like that, okay? Across your body. Okay, okay, so we did these rotations. Now, okay, we've got this, okay? So, again, you can have back, 
we can have forward. And you can do that out here, right? You can do that here. You can do that here. You can do, you can do that here. Anywhere. You can also stack the twist with the, with the back and forth, right? So you can twist and then do back and forth. Why would you do all this? You know, who knows? <laughs> it doesn't seem that useful in modern day life, which in a way is why we kind of lose the ability to do it. And, you know, we get tightness in our body because we just don't use our muscular system to the, and joints to the, to the extent uh, for, for which they're, they're designed. Okay. So you know, what, you're, what you're doing when you're just walking around and you're just like, oh, I just want to Im improve my body a bit. Well, okay. Why don't I, you know, go all the way over here and then go like that and then go like this and just give a good squeeze there. Why don't I reach out like this and do that? Why don't I go like this and twist? Sorry. Go all the way back and then do some, some twists. And with that twist with the, with the hand, right? That's not actually just the hand, that's everything, isn't it? I saw Egwin doing this actually just today. So this can happen everywhere. Okay, so we've also got a side to side motion. Try doing this. Try doing this. Rotate. This makes you more coordinated. Right? We could bring the fingers into it, but you know, it's just going to be too many degrees of freedom, isn't it? So, you know, obviously all, everything we just looked at with elbows straight. <laughs> this is kind of silly. Okay. Now there's, um, circles as well, right? Reach out and do circles, do circles both in one direction, well, both in, both like that, you can go like that, you can go like that, you can do that mo motion with any position of your arms. So all the things that I show you that you can do with your hands, you can do in all the different positions with your arms. Gosh, what else is there? Okay, we covered a lot of rotations, that's great. Yeah. Another thing is everything, um, all the, everything you can do, you can do with your shoulders up, you can do with your shoulders back, you can do with your shoulders kind of like rounded backwards, you can do with your shoulders forward, uh, you can do with your shoulders kind of like <laughs> sideways or something like that, right? Like one, one forward, one back, nothing's stopping you from doing that. Like that's what we're doing here. We're just exploring all these different degrees of freedom that you've probably been missing, okay? Um, so, you know, you can just do shoulder circles with your shoulders raised. That'll be good for you. That, is, that, that, will, be, that will be nice. You can pull your shoulders back and do shoulder raises. I mean, shoulder circles. And you can... <laughs> You can do wrist circles while you, while you do it. Um, don't forget the elbows. We haven't really been doing much with the elbows, but you know, cause they really only kind of have one degree of freedom. However, you can do, you can do elbows like this, or you can do elbows like this, or you can do elbows like this. Da, 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 da. The robot kind of thing. So, when you move your elbows, 
experiment with like, okay, I'm gonna move my elbows when, when my arms are internally rot rotated. Externally rotate, move your elbows and just, you know, kind of neutral. So many degrees of freedom. Um, okay, so there's all these different positions. There's probably, you know, even more that I, I didn't cover, but whatever. Um, so now, as I said, I wanted to show you like a few different modes in which you can actually do, do the movement because like we've covered the position and the types of articulations, but the, you know, the, the way you engage can be different, right? So you could, you could do something like in an extremely tense way. That's something, you know, just trying to be as tense as possible. Like when you're trying to be as tense as possible, that's a different thing from just being a tense person. I saw this guy at my Nana's retirement home and he was walking around like this. I was like, man, that guy's, that guy's stressed out. <laughs> okay. So there's extremely tense, right? That's when you just try to squeeze, let's tr let, instead of calling it extremely tense, let's call it squeeze every single muscle, right? So it's like, you're just squeezing absolutely everything, right? And that, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. You should do this from time to time. Just squeeze everything and move extremely stiffly. And I, I don't mean just squeeze everything in your arm. I mean, you, know, you can try to squeeze everything in your, in your neck and in between your shoulder blades and under your arms and your chest and and that all right that's a good thing the other thing you can do at the counter of this is just very light movement like where there's just no minimal tension let's call that minimal tension we call the previous one maximum tension call the previous one minimum tension minimum tension is really good for like exploring around and just seeing like what's what do these different parts feel like? Positions feel like, which causes me tension. Minimal tension is very valid as well. So <clears throat> the other one we've got is shake. You can shake. Shake it off, shake it off, right? So you can shake. This is creating movement by shaking, okay? I was doing this last night. I was like, holy crap, this is really good. This is not useless, right? This is not useless at all. This is very useful. You can actually like really like, like say you hold this and go like that. That's something. That, that will help improve just the mobility and coordination of your whole system here. Okay, so the shake and you can do that with everything, right? Just like really fast but like low tension, really fast, low tension. We'll call it, we'll call it shake. Okay. Um, we'll call this one super fast. Watch this one, ready? But it's stable, super fast and stable. We did this one in the like seated arm movement one time. This is very good. So they're very controlled. The tension's kind of high but it's very fast, okay? The tension's not quite as high as when we did maximum tension, although you could try to integrate them if you want. We can, we can just do it a bit. Okay, so we're gonna be really high, really tense. Let's see how it's pretty slow. Okay, oh, that, that, that's what that really you know, burns energy. Okay, so, so there's also um, like swinging. can be really good to kind of do stuff like this. And when you, when you do the swing stuff, it's nice to really let go. Swing's kind of like, you can do like totally unstable swinging or you can do stabilized swinging. So this is stabilized at one point and this is like stabilized nowhere, okay? Um, what else is there? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure, I'll come up with a name while I do this, right? Just say you hold your shoulders forward like this, and then go. 
we'll, we'll call this like extreme stabilization with coordination, right? So you choose one position, right? For most of your body, for everywhere before the part where you're gonna move, and then you move the other parts, right? So say we went, okay, I'm gonna stabilize everything above the elbows and move. You could just call this stable movement. So that's quite a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm just looking to see if I got anything else. Let me just start to... Yeah, you could say that there's precise movement, like movement where it's all about precision. You know, like, like really imagining a point where you wanna go and like um, mo deliberately moving your uh, a point, part, uh, any, anything, any part of your body or arm along a particular line, whether it be a straight line or we should, we should say a curve, whether it be, whether that curve be a straight line or whether that curve be, um, you know, a 3D, 3D curve, but it's precise. So you're, you're moving exactly where you want to go. Like I would say that this is like when you see people doing like Tai Chi or Qigong or something that, that is like highly precise movement. I like to do this a lot in my house, like it's like low tension, precise movement. Cause it feels good. It just feels good. It's very, very freeing. Um, but you know, there's also, it's like precise movement. That's like, um, you know, not slow, right? So you can combine all the modes. Okay. So I, I, that's pretty comprehensive. I hope. You know, all these different positions, you learned all these different positions, plus you can explore them yourself and you learn all these different modes. So now you can go and ex combine all the positions, combine all the articulation, the degrees of freedom, and then combine all the different <laughs> modes. And baby, you got a stew going. You can, can move however you want. It's a whole, you know, <laughs> whole, whole set of ways to move your arms. So I hope that's a uh, useful for you. If you've got any questions about that or comments, I'd love to hear them. Just put them in the comments and, and I'll reply and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.